Today, we're going to do a um, highlighter response video. So what this is, is that uh, I make a video and then some guys in the community uh, comment down below, so they respond to it. Some of you guys write really, really good comments. I wanna highlight the answers in a video so that way I could share it with everyone else because not everybody has the time really to read all the comments down below. Some of them do, some of them don't. This one, this, res this highlighted response co slash comment was from Alex Segura. All right, Alex, so hey, thank you for that comment response, right? It was great. Uh, the video, the video is called Recreation Two Times or Competitive Judo Three Times Per Week. Love the content aimed towards older martial artists. Thank you, Alex, appreciate that. In fact, given the schooling, I've gotten exercise science. So right there, you see Alex is, uh, if he has an education or a diploma, in exercise science, I mean, you know, he has um, information that could be very interesting, right? Most injuries occur, occur three to four weeks into hard training. Now that's very interesting, guys. And I think that makes sense because you guys have to remember that I'm also a trainer and I'm also an athlete, competitive judoka. So I understand all of this. Like when he, when he says this, like it, it, it rings true to me. So that's why I want to share it with you guys. When you train too hard for too long, but you don't have that time to recuperate, right? Neurological fatigue sets in, muscular fatigue, you know, and you just, you're just under recovered and then boom, next thing you know, crack, something breaks. Roll dice to determine how many times you go that week. Pros, the randomization helps you from burning out or reaching fatigue states. You will heal during the randomized lulls. Cons, it's hard to plan for competition with this approach. Pro tip, if you feel like crap and roll three times practice, ignore the dice and just do one common sense, right? You have to be flexible even when you're following some kind of system because at the end of the day, you gotta listen to your body. And that's why I preach a lot too when it comes to working out and stuff like that. Periodize with the wave approach. Start your month doing two practices, follow that with two weeks of three practices, end the month with one practice. That makes sense. So that means like the, the first week you would do two practices, then after that for two weeks, uh, you would do three practices and then you end the month with one practice. So it's a wave approach. You can choose any interval so long as you are going hard for longer than three weeks without at least one week of rest, right? So there's actually three approaches here. So that first one is the dice one, right? This one is the wave approach. Go to the gym more during the rest week, right? So during the week where you're only training like let's say once, and go lift some weights, man. Okay, number three, the third approach. Listen to your body. Ah, pros, requires no, uh, requires no planning, obviously, because you go whenever the heck you feel like. It takes discipline and commitment. You have to have an ultra low ego. This is probably the hardest uh, method. We all have pride and egos as men. So if you are stuck at home, break out those bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Alex Garoff. Thank you very much for your comment. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Uh, the ones who, um, who watch, who comment, who like, who share. It's helping the channel grow. Don't be shy, questions, comments. As this thing grows, I'm gonna provide a lot of value for you guys. All right, peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.